I don't have a tremendous amount of faith in this wide receiver core. I mean, Colby Young and Frank Ladson, that's about it. But they're not burning anybody. Restrepo can do a little bit from the slot, but, you know, he's not this speedster that can just dash down the field and make a few guys miss. Like, but he's he one of the few guys that, that does consistently create separation. I'll give him that. No, yeah, yeah. No, I love Restrepo. I, I love Restrepo. I'm just saying, like, he's not this insane all-world talent out of the slot. No, it it, it – uh, if I were to make a comparison to somebody everybody would probably know, it'd be somebody like Julian Edelman. Sure hands. Braxton that, Berrios. Pretty, okay, that's another one. Braxton Berrios. Sure hands. Not the speediest guy ever, but, I mean, I'm sure I'm sure Restrepo still probably runs 4-4, four, 4-5, four, four, 40s. Hey, man, so you he's, put Restrepo on the Patriots, and he will eat it up in the NFL. Yeah, and, and uh, Ladson and Colby Young, both of them strike me as kind of uh, kind of like a, a Mike Evans type. They're gonna they're gonna go up and get those 50-50 balls the majority of the time because both of them are you know six four six five. Mm-hmm. Um, they're gonna have an advantage against most corners. I mean, neither one of them are, are you know a, a, a go route threat to be wide open, but those guys can come down with the ball and I mean especially young has shown the ability to uh, to break some tackles and get some yak yards. Young has also shown the ability to just make some crazy catches. He had the crazy touchdown pa- uh, catch against Virginia Tech where he was basically – where the defender was literally like rubbing up all over him. And he just right. was able to come down with it. Yeah. Oh, Sean also said Brashard Smith. Brashard Smith had a good game today too. Brashard Smith had a few good plays out there. He made a few guys miss, especially on those screen plays, a couple – Jet sweeps and stuff like that. I, I like Bashard Smith. He did good today. Well, and, and I like him too. He just doesn't have the consistency that I would want to 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 really consider him reliable. Yeah. Um, and, and that may come because I mean he's shown flashes of it, and that's how it starts. Mm-hmm. Um, if TVD sits the rest of the season and Jakari wins the last three games and maybe a bowl game, does TVD get the starting job back next season? Well, I don't want anything to be handed to anybody. Um, I don't think it'll be handed all, to anybody. No, though. no, no, especially with how Mario is. And this also depends on if TVD comes back, which I think he will because I don't think he's shown enough this season. Like, he really just has, like, six games of work from last year to show the NFL. And I don't think he's going to transfer out. If any of the quarterbacks leave, I think it's going to be Jake. Um, you know, Jake was healthy, and they didn't play him today. They, they, they chose to ride with the true freshman and Jakari Brown. Well, I, I mean, not – not to uh not not trying to cast any uh any stones at any anybody in the fan base or even at Jake himself but i mean Jake's kind of kind of showed us what we're going to get out of him at least for right now yeah i mean it is what it is you know i mean, uh, I mean Tate, Tate Martell was a was a, a highly touted four star too I mean, I saw someone pose that question on Twitter. Is Jake Garcia the new Tate Martell? Is that what's going on here? It might, it might be. It oh, really man. might be. And I hope not. No, man. You know, no. I don't I don't wish anything bad upon him whatsoever. And I hope he stays and gets better. Yeah, Jacoby George. Jacoby George is also um, really good. Just has to – just, again, basically the whole team, just more consistency. You know, a lot of these guys show flashes, but if you're not consistent, I mean, you're not really going to get anything done. Right. Um. And and you know, I gotta, I gotta give props to the defense in this game as well. I, I don't mind at all, you know, a bend don't break mentality with the defense, because I mean, okay, you can throw up stats all you want about oh, we got this many yards or or this receiver had this many catches. If they're not points on the board, who cares? It's it, as Shannon Sharp likes to say, it, it's all empty calories. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's how we won against Virginia, man. We gave up a few big plays, but we stuffed them on the goal line. Yeah, and I mean, it. You know, if you're holding them to field goals or nothing, that's all you can really ask for. Yep. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's a lot of people eating some words about Kevin Steele's defense 
after this game. They look good. Yeah. 